Hi, I'm Philip with G6 Technology Services. Today we have a MacBook Pro 13 inch mid 2012 and we're going to be replacing the hard drive cable. So let's get started. Okay, so here's our MacBook Pro. So first thing we want to do is make sure that the system is powered off, which it is. The light's not on in the front. So we'll flip it over and then we'll have to remove all of these screws along the edge. We'll get our Phillips screwdriver and we'll be using a double zero bit for this. Um, so we'll start here and I like to just leave the screw in place once it's loosened just to make it easier to put it back together. But if you do want to take them all out just make note that these first three here are longer than the rest of them so when you go to put them back together or put the screws back in, just make sure that the longer ones go in these three positions. Okay, now we have our bottom case. We'll put that off to the side. And whenever we're working inside of our system, the first thing we want to do is to unplug the battery just to make sure that we don't accidentally short anything out. So this is the battery connector here, so all you do is just pull that up like that, so it's out of there. And then we'll go ahead and remove our solid state drive uh, and the bracket and then we'll pull the cable and put the new one in. So we'll get our double zero Phillips again and we just take these two screws out right here and they're actually captive in this bracket so they don't actually pull all the way out. So we just loosen it and then you can just grab onto one of them, kind of wiggle, and it should just come right out. So we'll just put this off to the side. And then normally the Apple supplied hard drive has one of these plastic tabs to help you get it out, but the, if you replace the drive or put a solid state drive in there, it's not going to have that. So we'll just use our plastic spudger to pry this drive out of here. Okay, and we'll just unplug our combination SATA power and data cable. We'll just put this off to the side. And now our double zero again will be used to take these two screws out of this front bracket. And these do come all the way out, so we'll go ahead and just remove those and we'll set them off to the side. And then we'll take these two screws out here. These are really small and easy to lose, so make sure to keep track of them. Okay, now that's all of our screws taken out. So we'll just lift up the uh, connector off the motherboard here. And we can use a uh, plastic spudger or your finger if you want to. That just lifts straight up. It's right up off of there. And then this uh, smaller cable right here has some adhesive on the bottom of it that's holding it to the case, so we need to just pull that up. And then this bracket should just come right out of here, so we'll just help it along with our spudger. There we go. So depending on which replacement part you've uh, gotten, you may need to actually keep this bracket. Sometimes it comes with the uh, cable already attached, and sometimes it doesn't. So in our case we have a new one, so we're not going to need any of this. So here's our new part, and we've gotten this from iFixit. So I'll just go ahead and close up on this uh, part number here, in case you need it. So we'll go ahead and get this out of the wrapper. Be careful not to cut the cable. Okay, so here's our new hard drive cable. So to install it, we basically just do the same thing that we did to take it out in reverse. So what I like to do, you'll see there's some extra adhesive on the uh, 
case here, so you just kind of rub that off. Any of the big chunks, if there's a little bit left, that's fine, but if it's starting to peel up, you might want to take some of that off. Okay, that's fine. We've gotten all the big pieces off that are sticking up. So this cable comes flat, but if we look at our old one, you can see that it is at a bit of an angle. Actually, let me just zoom in on that real quick. So we can see that our old one is at a bit of an angle, and the new one is completely flat. So we will have to bend this to fit the uh, format right here. So let's get that zoomed back out. And I'll actually move that a little bit more. Okay, so to put our new cable in, we'll just line it up kind of bend it a little bit so that it's going to fit. And then we'll grab our screwdriver and one of these tiny screws and we'll put one of those back in to hold it in place. Okay, and we'll go ahead and not screw it down all the way just yet. Put our second one in. Be very careful not to stab the cable, because it is kind of fragile. We want to make sure that these screws do go in straight down, not at an angle. Okay, and then we can put our cable back in, our connector back in the motherboard here. And then now we'll see this new section has some backing that has to come off to expose the adhesive. So what I like to do is go ahead and we'll just pull that off. But don't stick it down quite yet. It's like one of our little rubber things came out of the brackets. We'll just slide that back in there. There we go. So don't stick it down quite yet, but just put the other end of the bracket in place. And we'll put these screws back in. Don't drop it. Okay, so now that we have our screws all back in place, we want to line up our cable and just kind of push it into the corner and then just press it down and it should lay nice and flat. And that's all there is to that. So in this case, we're actually going to be swapping out the solid state drive also. So to do that, all you have to do is remove the um, Torx. T6, I believe is what they are. Yeah, there's four T6 screws that need to come out. And it doesn't matter which order they go in. Okay, now we have our screws back in. We'll go ahead and plug in our data and power cable. And then we just put the pegs into the little holes in this bracket. And then the other pegs just sit down on the other side. And then we put our bracket back in. And you'll be able to tell if it's in backwards, because if you put it in the wrong way, it just won't sit down in there. So you just flip it around. And then we'll just tighten these back up. OK, 
Okay, that's in there nice and securely. So now we can plug our battery back in. Oh, and I'll show you how that works. I think my hand was in the way. So it just plugs straight down. And you just push. Okay, and then we'll put our bottom case back on. Just tighten these up. Okay, now we have all of our screws back in. So at this point, I'll be reinstalling the latest version of macOS for this customer, and then it'll be ready to go.